Welcome to Master Trader, where you learn simple market analysis to make money investing and trading in the markets. I'm Dan Gibby, managing member at Master Trader, and in this week's chart of the week, we're going to discuss whether or not using objective technical analysis, if it's time to buy oil, since it has sold off 35% in just the past two months. The Wall Street Journal just reported in the weekend newspaper that uh, two more hedge funds uh, blew up from oil volatility. And just last week's chart of the week, I did a lesson on optionsellers.com going out of business. They blew up their fund for various reasons, but they blamed the huge volatility in oil and gas sectors as being what what the founder called a rogue wave, which made no sense to me using master trader technical analysis and strategies. This is a daily chart, obviously, of USO, which is the oil ETF. It's not the actual crude oil futures, but it's an ETF that allows you and me to trade it as a stock, but it's based on those uh, the fund managers trading of those crude oil futures. It was in an uptrend above the rising 20, 50, rising 200. Master Trader actually was long on this breakout in our ETF investment letter based upon a bullish daily and weekly chart. Once we enter a trade, we're simply in trade management mode. We trail pivots depending on the time frame we're trading, etc. But this was the first sign of trouble. It had a breakout failure. So it broke out here, had an inside consolidation day, broke out again, and then traded under those uh, breakout bars. That, that's not a sign to go short, but it's a sign on this time frame to say, danger, danger, Will Robinson, something's not right here. Then it made a lower high, red bar, deep in the support, bearish consolidation, no follow through to this green bar, and it broke down again. That's where our downtrend started. So when I hear about these firms, and again, I don't know under the hood what their strategy is. It could be arbitrage, it could be hedging. I don't know what it is, but the lesson that we're gonna be talking about here is let's just look at objectively, should you be having long exposure based upon just this USO ETF? And the answer is absolutely not the founder of this particular firm said so his energy strategy wasn't working that's fine i don't know what it is there's some truly bizarre stock action well is this bizarre enough to blow up a fund using proper risk management we say absolutely not we just objectively read what is going on in the moment so it broke down look at different traits of trends a downtrend is lower pivot highs lower pivot lows that's what we have here it sliced through various levels of support and then we call this a price void meaning there was no support to the left to continue a move lower another trait of trend strength notice how the retracements are very shallow after it keeps breaking down it can't bounce. That's a sign of weakness. Another sign is, look at the green bars where they try to stabilize. They have no follow through to those green bars. And, and I've been getting emails from folks all through this decline saying, Dan, doesn't oil have to hold here? And uh, that, that just perplexes me that people would have a preconceived bias on something that has to happen in the financial markets. This chart is made up of many types of traders for different reasons. It's fundamental, of course. You have supply and demand issues. You have international issues. You have currency issues. You have technical issues. But we say that the chart doesn't lie. This is a nasty downtrend. And even though it's down 35% in two months, is it time to buy? And the answer is absolutely not. So let's take a look at what would make me 
want to buy it. This is the weekly chart of USO on the left. You can see that it was bullish when we entered it on the daily and weekly chart where I mentioned higher highs, higher lows. That was a bullish uh, pattern. But then we had the breakout failure, which left the topping tail on the weekly chart, slicing through these pivots of support like butter. This is relentless, relentless selling. Is there any stabilization to this chart? The, word, the answer is absolutely not. We are waiting for signs of a reversal on multiple time frames. I like to pick up in volume. There's been some more liquidation there, but we still have no event. Another concept that we use in the master trader strategies is relative strength or weakness. This is the, the close of the S&P 500 ETF at a bullish retest on major support, negated this ugly red bar, and this one looks higher. There's still no love whatsoever for the USO. Considerations in trading these bottoming patterns. So USO is in a downtrend uh, on the daily chart there. So they have poor odds of holding because they're consolidations in a bearish trend. You have so many people wanting to try to pick the bottom, but we all know the saying about trying to pick bottoms, you're going to get your, your uh, fingers stink, stinky. We're looking for a potent reversal, and that's what Master Trader calls something significant. And that daily chart had nothing significant to suggest that we're at a bottom here. In these bottoming patterns, we're, we're looking for something extra to just a regular potent reversal. A concept we teach is called a downside shakeout. We, we want to see a shock where the, the shorts get shocked and that motivates them to cover in addition to new buyers stepping up. A bullish gap up that's going to shock them. We want a wide range bar igniting on increasing volume. We want something. But just going back here again, there is nothing. There's nothing of potent reversal yet. I'll know it when I see it. Maybe if it's maybe on Monday, if it gaps over this entire consolidation and then takes out a 30 minute high, well, that's the start of it. And then we would definitely be looking to sell out of the money puts and put spreads on this and where we get paid just for calling a short-term bottom. That doesn't mean it's a directional trade unless we have a compelling pattern on multiple time frames. We need the price void on the time frame being traded and at least one higher. So we definitely have it on the higher. The daily, because of the ugly way that it came down, there is a price void, but it, it's not going straight up again uh, because of that severe crack. It's going to have many speed bumps and consolidations and false starts when it does attempt to go back up. We're always using master trader strategies, looking for high probability setups. And then all trading is you simply enter and manage per your trading plan and, and manage in between. That's all trading is. These would be some pictures, these three at the, bo at the bottom here, W bottoms that we would be looking for as a potent reversal. And we teach these in our Master Trader Strategies course, but we had this one's called a potent reversal and a retest of that with what we call a new low shock. It made a new low, quickly reversed, price void above. This would be a great picture. Deep move into prior consolidation, that's referring to this First retracement is piercing resistance to the left and then it comes back and I have a retest. I have my bottoming tail and big green engulfing bar. This one, I have my power wide range bar here, potent reversal and a retest of it. So, th so these are just some flavors that we would be looking for. Just to remind viewers, every Wednesday at noon Eastern time, my partner, Greg Capper and I, we have Master Trader Live. We have a different subject every week. And as you see here, November 21st, we did our episode on trading these bottoming patterns. So I highly recommend you go to mastertrader.com in our resources tab and watch this. This, this will also be 
a key on how to trade this oil if you do want to take a bullish position. This is our Master Traders Swing Strategies course that I was uh, mentioning a few times. We have a holiday special going on and Greg has recently uh, completed this. It is a phenomenal course. Uh, we, we get hundreds of marvelous testimonials of how it's changed people's lives of, of getting rid of the hocus pocus indicators and focusing on what really matters, which is candlesticks, the arrangement of candlesticks and different trends and putting those pictures together and then just entering them and, and managing in between. The special is we're going to give you the advanced management strategies course, which is actually it's the same price of this one. We're going to give it to you for free in the month of December. So go to mastertrader.com forward slash swing hyphen AMS and you can check out the agendas on both of these phenomenal courses. And don't forget to subscribe to the Master Trader YouTube channel to continue to receive valuable information about trading and investing in the markets. Share this video with your friends and feel free to like us on Facebook. Good trading, everybody, and see you next time.